Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and art nerds everywhere. Welcome to another painting, and this one is a melancholy, sad, sad painting from one of the greatest video games ever made, Final Fantasy VII. This is depicting Aerith Death, um, based on Advent Children. Um, I played Final Fantasy VII back when I was a wee nipper, um, and I renamed all the characters. So Aerith, to me, was called Buffy, <laughs> and uh, Cloud was called Splinter, Tifa was called Kate, Barrett was called Mr. T, the cat thing, which I can't remember his name, was called Ali. So it's weird. It wasn't until the internet that I, I you know, found out what their real names were. <laughs> anyway, so this is Aerith's death, not Buffy's death. That's a complete different sad, sad episode as well. Um, this is a landscape painting. A landscape is not something I do too much in pop art because it's a very different uh, way of painting. You have to approach it not from a form point of view but from a tone point of view you can't just paint the bit of bark on the tree and that's the tree in pop art you have to paint the shadows and the light to create the tones that create the shape does that make any sense i'm sure it does um for example if you zoom in close to this these are all just triangles it's not until you come back that you see it if you zoomed in close to this and it was painted the um bark you could see it but if you zoomed out it looked like a right mess that definitely makes sense. <laughs> uh, the color palette. The color palette um, was an interesting one. If you go there, one, two, three, four, four from the top corner, that's my baseline green turquoise. This green turquoise was to create this dreamy, melancholy, um, uh, sort of this fairy, this fantasy, if you like, uh, color palette. I started with that green mixed up and down mixing down was adding more white to uh, give it a bit more of a lighter tones and mixing up i mix black and blue um normally when i'm mixing blue makes colors colder normally when i mix and paint i mix them warmer uh, in this case i want everything colder because it was a sad sad scene so adding a little touch of blue only a tiny 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 bit adds that sort of coldness to it um and uh, that that dream like to it um, and as you can see, I keep changing the color palette. I changed this color palette a lot until I got it correct. I was finding that actually the shades um, between each uh, layer, if you like, had to be not so contrasting. Normally I'm quite contrasting, but this one, to give this dreamlike quality, I needed the step up and down in tone to not be quite as much as I normally do. So this is a good example. So what we're trying to do here, what I'm trying to do, is to draw the eye into the middle of the painting. Um, and that is being done by this tree line. Obviously, I'm not going to draw each individual tree. I'm not Bob Ross. I'm going to do the tones and the color and the darkness and the shadow. So the darkness is on the outside, goes in lighter and lighter, and that makes this 3D effect and pulls your eye into the middle. Um, the water, water's pretty easy to do in this style. It's all flows, so it's pretty easy. You just take your dark and flow it out, take your light and flow it out, and add a little bit of highlight. Pretty simple. Um, the highlight here, these are all the tree lines. So this tree line, this is actually a very, very um, light greeny color. It's not actually white. It looks white on the camera, um, but in a minute you'll see I'll go in and bring it really out even more. Um, defining stuff here. Now I'd got the colors in place and the forms in place. I went back and made, and made everything more, more spiky. Everything needed to be spiky because it's street. So um, that's all I'm doing here is once again, going back in with another tone. I think I lightened it at this point to give everything just this slight pointiness which is not something oh here we go this is more important more important the characters Aerith and cloud originally i painted her legs um pink as you saw there and it was so bad i thought forget that i'll figure that out later and went on to do some black <laughs> not too much black in this painting um just very outside edges just to pull that eye in a bit more um and now i'm going over the white as you can see here see there we go so that little white a minute ago on these trees actually was a very very light uh, green and now i'm going in with this white and defining these trees perfectly you can see now you can see the branches and the twigs um coming off of them again just an impression um turn this upside down it won't look like anything um but as you can see now these are the tree lines it looks really cool i'm really happy how these trees look it's very tim burton-esque very or oh, just like spooky but dreamy and sad at the same time i'm using a posca pen there to do some of the very thin distant ones with the posca pens which is quite good you can have a white but the white can be quite opaque so it's just in the background just a hint of it and in a minute i just need to get onto these figures i really did put these figures off if you haven't noticed <laughs> um i'm changing the tones here i mean redrawing it all i wasn't happy with it so i redrew the whole of the figures and brought this tone down simplified it which is something nearly every time i'm struggling with something i'm making it too complicated that pink doesn't work so we'll white that in a minute come on dude dude i'm calling myself dude come on steve yeah there we go so now i'm whiting that because i realized the tones needed to be the same as the background it didn't work having them at different tones um different colors so i got them all the same 
Um, and then I'm just doing a bit of highlighting here. Um, and in a minute, I go back in and I try to bring a little bit of color into uh, Aerith dress just to just to give it that slight slight vision of something else there uh, quite hard to explain but it, it does work and here we go i put the pink in here and i change this pink quite a lot this is red and white being mixed with the green trying to see what works for some reason i decided to paint that yellow it looks like princess peach big mistake that i paint just white in the end i'm not sure if i filmed that bit we'll find out in a minute so that's me trying to paint it out but it wasn't dry enough because i'm impatient and now we're going to go on to a very interesting bit well that was good the text um, the text is Aerith's, Aerith's Buffy's <laughs> last line from the game. The last line she sa says before she leaves them, which is, I'll be going now. I'll come back when it's over, which I just thought fit this perfectly. Um, as you saw, I projected the words on there so I could get them straight. Um, and then I've gone over it and painted them with white in roughly the Final Fantasy font i didn't want to make it exact so it looked like it's printed it had to be hand painted so i didn't want every word to every word every letter to be perfectly straight that would have made it look a bit too printed on um it looks great and there we go oh the paint's done oh that was quick i'll be going now i'll come back when it's over Aerith death painting in this lovely blue turquoise greeny white sad 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 painting everything is just a slight impression of what it should be and it came out really good, really enjoyable painting to do. Also, which was very cool, is the um, aspect ratio of that painting, this long, thin one, this um, kind of like a letterbox, I guess. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this painting. I really enjoyed doing it. Um, it's now going to be put into a custom frame, which will be very interesting. Maybe I should film that. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one, everybody. Bye. Oh, subscribe and all that rubbish. Bye.